Before we talk about what it's like to pull the trigger on the Maverick's 101 horsepower Rotax 1000 hour power plant, I need to comment on where this beast of a motor resides in the vehicle. It's in the middle, between the driver and passenger. BRP claims that this layout gives the Maverick nearly perfect front to rear weight bias that's nearly identical to a Razor XP. After running this thing hard through some serious whoops and dune areas, I'd have to agree that it works every bit as well, if not a little better, than its competition. Now let's talk about 1000 cc's and 101 ponies. Just what does this feel like? For starters, it sounds amazing. BRP's engineers put considerable time into designing the Maverick's exhaust to both meet sound requirements and still sound cool. The 1000R is also extremely smooth. With that much power on tap, you'd expect the Maverick to be a bit of a handful to drive, but it's not. In fact, driving a Maverick smooth is no more difficult than driving a Commander. Of course, when the time comes to slam the pedal to the floor, things change in a hurry. The Maverick goes from being a civil and controllable trail rig to an absolute beast of a dune rocket in the blink of an eye. RPM, and therefore horsepower, builds immediately. Clutches engage fast and hard, and the rear tires break loose anytime, anywhere, any place. Sometimes the power of the Maverick can be deceiving. If you slam the pedal all the way to the floor, acceleration can feel a bit soft. The problem here is not horsepower, it's traction. If you slam the pedal to the floor and you're not accelerating the way you think a Maverick should, chances are you're doing a full-bore NHRA-style burnout with the rear tires. 